to another week. To start us off this week, me and my helper, lounging here in the sun, are going to play red light, green light. Okay, you ready? Okay, so for this version of red light, green light, we're going to do it action based. So when I put up the green light, that means do the action. And when I put up the red light, that means to talk. Okay, so our action is going to be dancing around. You guys ready? Are you ready? Dance! Red light! Green light! Green light! Red light! Okay, let's hop. Let's switch up our action to hopping. Ready, set, green light! Red light! Green light! Green light! Clap your hands! Oh, I like how you're hopping and clapping. And red light! Okay, one last action. Let's do jumping jacks. Ready? Green light! Red light! Green light! Red light! Red light! Oh, I can't trick you! Green light! Good job! You got some of your wiggles out now? <laughs> How about you guys at home? Today, Pastor Mike is talking on Psalm 23, 5b. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. New King James Version. So, this pairs in with what we learned last week. We're going to have trouble in life, but God is always with us. God wants what is best for us, but sometimes that best comes with the difficulty that we can learn from, whether it's how to trust or how to have more faith or the knowledge that God is always there. Our story today is about a man named Job. Job was a man who loved God with his whole heart. Job had seven sons and three daughters, and along with his family, Job had 7,000 sheep, 500 donkeys, 500 yoke of oxen, and 3,000 camels. Job had a lot. Well, one day, Satan was talking to God. And remember, Satan does not want what does not want what is best for us. Satan hates God and he hates people. And he told God the only reason Job loved God with his whole heart was because nothing ever bad happened to Job. Job had everything. And so, of course, why wouldn't Job love God? And so God gave permission to Satan to take away Job's possessions. And in one day, all of Job's sheep, donkeys, oxen, camels, his sons, and his daughters were taken away. Job lost everything. His sons and daughters died, and one of his animals died, or got taken away, and he had lots and lots of help to help him. And most of them were all gone as well. Gone as well. And you know what? Job was devastated. He was so sad, so distraught when he heard the news. But you know what? He didn't get mad at God. Job decided to continue to love and worship God even though everything was gone. Well, later on, Satan went back to God and he said that, well, let's just, Job isn't going to love you if you take away his help. And so God let Satan hurt Job, but he couldn't kill him. 
and Job was covered in red sores all over his body and he was in so much pain and Job's friends and his wife all told him to give up on God and to get angry and to stop loving God but you know what but even though Job was covered in so many sores and in so much pain Job he still loved and trusted God he questioned God he asked God why is all of this happening he didn't understand but you know what Job chose to believe that God had a plan because Job believed, how could you praise God for the good stuff and be thankful for that when God can choose to give and to take away? And God allows bad things to happen to us, even though we might not understand, because God always has a plan, even though we may never know what that plan is. And... I don't, we don't know why God let all of this happen to Job, but I think we can use it as an example for us to not give up on God and to continue trusting when things get hard. And you know what? After Job got put through all of this testing and this wondering what is going on, God blessed Job. Job was faithful and God was faithful to Job. Job received back all that he had lost and then some. He had more children, sons and daughters, and he had double the amount of sheep that he had before, double the amount of donkeys, camels, and yoke of oxen. Job didn't give up on God. Job's life was but he trusted and persevered, and God's blessing for him was even greater. That's not to say that God will always give you what you want, and that life is going to be easy, but God will provide for us, often in ways you might not expect. Our God wants good for us. He is a giving God. Job went through this dark valley, and he emerged happily and able to accept God's abundant blessing. We're going to end off with three songs. Our first song is called Trust in the Lord. And for trust, we're going to go trust. Ready? Trust in the Lord, for he is faithful. His promises never will fail. Trust in the Lord, for he is faithful, his word shall endure. Put your trust in Jesus, lean on his everlasting arms. With his love, he will surround you. second song is what a mighty God we serve what a mighty God we serve what a mighty God we serve let angels bow before him heaven and earth adore him what a mighty God we serve what a mighty God we serve what a mighty God we serve. Let angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. And our last song is, My God is so big. Ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. 
My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you and you and you and you and you and you and you. I hope you guys have an amazing week. And I'll see you through the screen next week.